Employment history. This is important because this is one of the four key components on your loan. What we want to see in general is a two year history of something. We want to see that you were in school full time, that you've worked full time, or it can be a combination of those two things. Employment history, basically full time is good. Full time, really anything except for laying on the couch and not working. That's not good. Employment gaps are really not good because that shows some instability in your, in your either desire to work or in somebody's um, ability to work. It's not saying that they can't be overcome, but there needs to be a shorter time period is better. And there needs to be some good explanations for it if it's a lengthy one. Lengthy ones can be addressed, but they do cause questions that need to be answered appropriately. Number three, employment change can be good or it can be bad. If you're trying to change jobs in the middle of being under contract to buy a house, that can really slow down your loan and make you have to wait until you've gotten at least one more full pay period from your new employer. And sometimes that takes an extra two or three weeks. Um, it can be good if you're going to be paid more. Um, but sometimes the timing of that can cause a problem. So it's not always bad to change jobs, but it can certainly cause a delay and oftentimes do does cause a delay. So think about that. Also W2 pay is better than 1099 pay because W2 pay is consistent and stable and predictable and reoccurring. 1099 pay can be those things, but oftentimes it's not, it's more irregular. So the more regular, stable, boring your pay is, the better we like it. The more instable and the more variable, variable it is, the, the least a lender likes it and the, the, the more difficult it will be to buy a house. Not saying you can't um, because plenty of people do and I've done a lot of loans for people that are. It just requires more documentation and time. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.